Using an integrative design process is a cornerstone of green building in general, and LEED specifically. In LEED version 4.1, we enhanced the integrative process credit to reward projects for engaging all team members early in the design process, with the aim of discovering beneficial interrelationships and synergies between systems and components. I'm Mandy Lee, and I work in the LEED department of the U.S. Green Building Council on the technical development and maintenance of LEED, particularly in the areas of social equity, innovation, integrative process, and international application. We've spent the last several years looking at real LEED projects to see what's working well and what can continue to improve. Now, we're excited to share the evolution of our design and construction rating systems under LEED version 4.1. I'm so excited to share the updates to the integrative process credit. We've worked hard to make sure the updated credit provides value to project teams and sets them up for success with the rest of the rating system. LEED system goals explain what a LEED project should achieve. An integrative process can help projects achieve higher levels of performance across the board and supports all of these goals. Conventional planning, design, building, and operations processes often fail to recognize that buildings are part of larger, complex systems. As a result, solving for one problem may create other problems elsewhere in the system. In contrast, an integrative process is highly collaborative. This approach requires the whole project team to think of the entire building and all of its systems together, emphasizing connections and improving communication among professionals and stakeholders throughout the life of a project. It breaks down disciplinary boundaries and rejects linear planning and design processes that can lead to inefficient solutions. By taking an integrative approach, projects can achieve high levels of building performance, improve human performance, and maximize environmental benefits. So what's new for LEED version 4.1? Improve solutions for project teams to allow them to better tell their integrative process story. LEED version 4.1 was developed with lessons learned over the last 20 plus years of LEED projects. It's an incremental upgrade to the rating system and the integrative process credit has been improved in a number of ways. Let's start with the building design and construction rating system. Every project is unique and we found that the story of a project's integrative process didn't fit neatly into a standard worksheet. By its very nature, integrative process is contextual. When we approached the improved documentation requirements for this credit, we focused on documenting the process itself, since the technical outcomes of integrative process are demonstrated by the building's performance throughout the rest of the credit categories, and documenting the difference between a conventional approach and an integrative approach. To support these goals, we introduced a new way of documenting integrative process, a project team letter. This allows the integrative process team to work together to create a letter that describes their integrative process in their own words and how it differed from a standard approach. The letter must include a summary for each issue area analyzed by the project team, and each of the integrative process team members signs the letter. We still see energy and water analyses as essential building blocks for an integrative process. These are now the only two required elements for the credit. Within each analysis, projects assess strategies around key criteria, but no longer have to consider a specific number of them. This gives project teams greater flexibility to focus on the strategies that work best for them. Beyond energy and water analyses, there are many other areas that benefit from taking an integrative approach. To recognize projects that go above and beyond, we've introduced an option for exemplary performance within this credit. By conducting analysis on either site selection, social equity, or human health and well-being, projects can earn this extra point. Turning to the interior design and construction rating system, the same improvement to the documentation applies. A project team letter replaces the worksheet. But we've also restructured the credit options to better fit the scope of interiors projects. As with building design and construction, Projects can earn one point for conducting the essential energy and water analyses. Since site selection is not always within the scope of these projects, we've removed that analysis from option one and again moved that to one of the optional additional analyses, along with social equity or health and well-being, that a team can include to earn an exemplary performance point. We've also added a new option for locating within a LEED certified building. 
This acknowledges the holistic benefits of locating within a certified building and can be done as an alternative to the typical analysis or in addition. With these key improvements, we see the integrative process credit as an exciting opportunity for project teams to do more than earn points. By implementing an integrative process, projects can improve their performance across the board.